Conversation bots can do many things within Microsoft Teams. They can proactively send a message to a channel or a group chat. They can listen for and act on specific events and even update their own messages. So in this demo, I'm going to modify our existing Microsoft Teams app to update the bot to respond to message reactions and update or delete uh, message capabilities. Now, this demo assumes that I've already created the Microsoft Teams app project with the Yeoman Generator that I showed in the previous demo. So in the previous uh, demo, I created a bot that could be used in the personal scope that enabled one-to-one -one chat. And when the bot is used in a channel, um, I have to actually at mention it to receive that message. Well, in this section, I'm gonna modify that existing app to support being added to a team and respond to messages uh, from the default tab uh, uh, in, a, in a team. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna update the manifest to add channel support. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here to our app and look at the manifest. And you'll notice here that it actually already has channel support here because I have added this uh, team entry that you see listed here. Um, another thing we're gonna need to do is because we are going uh, to wanna uh, update the app, I'll just go ahead and point this out. Uh, that we're gonna wanna um, probably update the version because when we add a capability to the bot, we change some of the settings in order to, to update the bot or to update the app with the new bot information uh, in uh, the app that's already been installed in Microsoft Teams, uh, you're gonna have to increment the version to update an existing app. So as you can see here, we have this version uh, that's listed as being dynamically set and that's actually being set from the package.json. So I'm gonna change our version number of our bot to instead of being 0.0.1, .0 I'm gonna set it to 1.0.1. And the next step is to update the bot's code. In the previous demo, our code was looking for a specific message uh, that had the mention me uh, in it to respond to. So that works great in a one-to-one -one personal chat because the bot isn't mentioned in the conversation. However, in a channel conversation, we must at mention the bot in order to trigger it. So this results in a message containing a reference to the bot, not just the message that's been submitted. So while there are multiple ways to address this, let's check the type of conversation message uh, that it's coming from so that we can uh, handle this accordingly. So let's go find our bot, which is inside the server slash conversation bot uh, folder. And I wanna look for this on message event uh, handler here. Uh, and this is that we have inside the constructor. And in the if statement, you can see where I'm checking to see if the text is gonna start with the mention me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the contents of my if statement where you see this uh, await. I'm gonna change the, the contents of this if statement to check for the type of conversation uh, that the, the message was sent from and to call the corresponding handler. So here we have the one-to-one -one response. So we still have our one-to-one -one response, but now we have one for uh, the actual conversation. So now let's go in and let's implement our channel conversation. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and we'll add in our conversation handler uh, a little bit farther down into a new method. So we'll put this at the very end of the file. Where it goes doesn't really matter. So let's take a look and see what this code does. So what this does is that this ch the channel conversation, um, it's going to respond and say and detect and tell you that it's, we're in a uh, channel conversation and not just in a one-to-one -one chat. So now we have context that we can actually provide for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to spin up our project again. And because we didn't really make, a, really make a change to the configuration of our bot, we just changed some server-side logic, we don't need to go update the bot uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. All right, so now let's go test our bot. So I'm gonna relaunch Edge, and let's go out of our uh, bot. Actually, we'll do this from our one-to-one -one chat. So let's go find our app. Here it is. So you can see before it was saying we were in a one-to-one -one chat. So let's do the same thing. We'll do a mention me. And it should say again that it's gonna be responding to a one-to-one -one chat. Now, let's go back over into our channel. So we'll go into our team and then we'll go into the general channel, into the post selection. And notice that it's still saying a one-to-one -one chat because remember, the last time we built this, it didn't have any kind of context uh, that we were checking to say if we were in the personal scope or in um, a, uh, a team scope. So I'll do this again. We'll say, we'll at mention our bot and I'll add in the mention me again. But this time it should show, it should respond saying that it knows that it's in a channel conversation, which you can see here, it just did that. 
So great, we're in good set, we're in good place now with our bot. 